Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I'm eating a Domino cookie. Mm. I can almost feel myself doing this thing where I like retract a bit and I'm like I don't know what to share or what to talk about or I feel like I've already shared so much of my life that there's nothing left. I always go through phases of this. I'm so uninteresting. There is nothing for me to give. I think I feel more like that now because Digital Detox Day has happened and that's been such a huge focus for so long that it's been and gone and done and now I'm like, who am I, what am I, what, what am I working on now? <laughs> Truth is, I have a lot to be working on, um, but yeah, I don't know. I think sometimes it's like, I don't know, that come down of working on something really exciting and it happening and then kind of readjusting how your work and life balances without that thing. This might not make any sense, or it might make total sense to you. Um, but yeah, I can feel myself like not wanting to post on stories and being like, I don't know what to share. I don't know what to give you. <laughs> Blow dried my hair this morning, but I don't actually have time to curl it. So I've just left it straight and in a ponytail. <laughs> Gonna be going on a walk with Sid. Mm. Poppy and Shauna are on their way over and we are gonna go for a little morning walk nice way to start the day with the dogs it's actually such a lovely day today it's kind of chilly but really sunny which is like my favorite although next week i think we're having another summer burst so we'll get one more bit of summer before um autumn comes in full swing i'm just feeling especially after our day that me and mark had the other day where we were um really cozy and watching autumny christmas films i'm like really craving that like that colder crispier like mornings and um lighting the candles actually placed a bath and body wa body walks <laughs> body works order yesterday um so hopefully that will arrive in the next couple of weeks it sucks me in every year and i end up with so many candles and <laughs> i never have enough time to burn them but I'm too into the new fragrances, like I must smell them. <laughs> so I've got a fun couple of days, um, chilled but fun. That's it, that's my, that's my morning update. Should we go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? Would you like that? We're gonna see Sydney. Should we see Sydney? <laughs> and Poppy. And Shawnee? Shawnee? Poppy? Sydney? I apologise if you have a dog that could hear that vlog and was also doing this. I think it's just the tone of voice. Because if I say walk, walk. Should we go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? There you go. <laughs> Let's get your harness on and your lead on. It's beautiful. Um, but we've just noticed this little field where um, Poppy and Sean train Sydney for recall has some sheep in it that aren't supposed to be in here. They've come through. What are those gates called? Um, Anti-sheep gate. Well, yeah, it's supposed to keep them in the field. I they're find supposed them bloody to be hard in. to get through with. I know. Either. I call them kissing gates, but I don't think that's. I mean, I don't think that's the technical term for it but they've somehow pushed themselves through they're obviously trying to get back through otherwise they'd just be chilling in this field but they're they've still they're still standing by the gate so Alfie's gonna see if he can try and rescue them back into the field farmer Alfie I hope I have to pick one up and like put it over the fence so I'd be <laughs> I'm not sure that it will let you do you know what though I think Nala might scare it I'll leave your I'll leave our coffees there Alfie <laughs> We need a sheep dog. Did it go through? No. <laughs> oh, I know, that's some sheep. Update, basically, Sean and Alfie managed to get them in. <laughs> 
but that was hard because that type of gate is not easy to get sheep through but they've been reunited okay. i did help get two through yeah you did <laughs> yeah i helped hold the gate okay. but that was harder than i thought it was gonna be yeah look at poppy with the dogs Hi, doggies. <laughs> <laughs> what's nala got no, I don't have anything. Nala's Sydney, got it. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Look, Nala's just Sit. watching her. Sit. Sydney. Sit. Where's Nala? Oh no, you don't need to go for the vagina. They look so different. Nala's <laughs> smelling's like. It is you don't know what this is. I have no idea what that is. What's clays? Literally no idea. Plays. Yeah. Like new plates. Shut up, I was not expecting this today. Candles. Okay. What have you ordered? Autumn stuff? I feel like the only thing that can get you this excited is like autumn, Halloween or Christmas. <laughs> so it has to be something to do with those things. I mean, sort of. Bath products. Gravel. The drive. Oh, <laughs> gravel for the driveway. Gravel, we need new gravel for the new gravel for the driveway. Oh my gosh, purple as well. This is the um, uncorrected bound proof that we can send. Yo, to you. that's crazy. So this isn't what the actual cover will look like, but this is the proof cover. Isn't that cool? That is so. I love the size of it. Look how many I've got. You could read it now if you wanted. Shit, I'm actually going to start reading this today. Look at it. Look at that on the side, Zoe and Amy. That's cool. That's such a sick picture. Yo, it's a meaty book, isn't it? Uncorrected, bound proof. Bit more exciting than gravel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a bit. And just so you can get a closer look, look at that. So these won't be available um, for anybody to get. These are just um, the ones that we send out to authors and like friends and stuff so that they can read, um, give it a read before it's properly printed. I've, I need to text Amy. I wonder if she's had hers. Was this today this arrived? Yeah, literally a minute ago. Ah! I just got the door. Oh my god. Amy's haven't arrived yet because she's out. So she said, show me. So I'm going to FaceTime her quickly. Although if she's out, she might not be able to answer. Hello. Hello. I just thought, I was like, oh god, she's out. She might not be able to FaceTime. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to find somewhere where there's like not blaring blare music. So I'm just at a lunch spot. But anyway. Oh. Music, so lunch Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So here's the box. Oh my god! Look! Oh, so cool. I love the like reverse image. It's so cool, isn't it? Oh my god. Do they look, do they look, is it like foiled or anything? Right, it's got, it? um, do you see the little birds in oh, the yeah, light? Yeah. Oh, they're like in a lamina. Yeah. Oh. And then look at this. Oh my god, it's like a real book. Oh my god! <laughs> I know! Oh my god, it's like a physical thing! How big is it? Is it like feel chunky? It's like a... It does look quite chunky. Yeah, it's like a look. good amount of chunky. Yay! Not too daunting. No, not too bad. Not no. Too bad. I love it. Oh, nice. Amazing! And the chapters look so much smaller. Does it? In Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, like two pages of chapter 10. Oh, great! <laughs> Quick chapters! <laughs> Yes, well that'll be good, a speedy read. Like yeah, a... exactly. Yeah, oh God, it's so cool. We're gonna start reading it soon though now. I know. So does that mean they've sent them out to everybody on our list as well? I think so, I think so. And they'll be getting that today? I guess so. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's real, it's a physical thing. Yay, actually, you know what, I was thinking, it's only like seven weeks or something till it actually comes out. I know, it's, gonna, it's next month. Yeah, it's next month. That's crazy. <gasps> oh my god, but yeah, it just feels so real. I saw the clays box on the side. We just had a delivery and I was like, I was like, oh, what was the delivery? And then I saw a clays box and I was like, oh, 
Oh my god, because I, I just had forgotten that this was going to come soon. I know, I think it looks really cool though. I think it looks like suitably different. Yeah. And Enjoy your lunch, just thought I'd bring you, you and show you. Yes, love it. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Shall I read you a bit of one of my chapters? Mm-hmm. This room is cursed, I say, pushing my way around the tall, white, blonde, slightly fragile looking new girl in the doorway. Be kind, my mum's words ring in my ears. Lola's awful accident at the start of the summer is already making this year difficult enough, but it's hard to be kind when I'm about to meet the girl I'm giving up my privacy for. And it's especially hard to be kind when everything about her screams that we won't get along. In one hand, she's got an oversized smartphone with a pink fluffy case and over her shoulder is a flashy designer bag. It must be freezing outside, but she has flip flops on. I don't like to pass judgment on someone before talking to them, but she's making it too easy. If you, it's you... so weird to think that, like, whilst you were writing that, like, what was I doing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you No, mean? not saying as in I've done nothing, but as in, like... But everybody has their own style of writing and their own way to express themselves. Like, there's no right or wrong yeah, way that of... Just, that just sounds like a proper book, doesn't it? <laughs> Whereas, well, I, just I tried like really that. hard. <laughs> I just can't write like that. It's cool that you did alternate chapters as well. I yeah. Think that's sick. Yeah. Like, did she write chapter one, then you wrote chapter two, then she wrote chapter three, then she, then you wrote chapter four? Or were you writing chapters without with her bit missing? Sometimes. If I was, like, busy doing something else that week and I couldn't do a chapter, she would skip ahead and do... Because we would... Shit, we and planned you haven't out, even written that bit yet. No, we planned out chapter by chapter and bullet points. Yeah, yeah. So of we knew what would happen in each chapter. So then I would get my yeah, I doing chapters. All the characterizations on like yeah. massive boards and stuff. So in the I would office. get my chapters, and I would. But we kept. We would then just have to be like, oh, actually, Amy, I made them do this, so that yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense with your chapter. So then we would just edit it. Yeah. There was loads of things we changed, even up to the last minute. We were changing stuff. Well, you have to because you might just. I know, but now I'm details. now I panic because I'm like I don't know if I want to read this like this in case I spot something that I'm like. Oh, we should have changed that or like yeah, I don't there's know. There's always going to be something. Yeah, that it's true. I'm such like a perfectionist that I could be working on this for like ten years and I still wouldn't like yeah. feel like it was at a point. But. But it's like one of those things. If you were designing, I don't know, a T-shirt to sell for a clothing brand and you were like oh I don't know if to do the purple or the red whichever one you chose no one will ever see the other one yeah do you know what I mean should I start reading it today if you have time I don't think it would take you long I do I don't think it would take Actually, you long not with this weather Yay! I could just sit out here it's so exciting you join us a little later having a little clay session <laughs> Alfie bought this little gadget um online and it's like a tiny potter's wheel and we're having a little go honestly we've probably been sat here for an hour already it's so therapeutic i mean neither of us have any clue what we're doing but it's so much fun i think that's why it's fun yeah I'm not taking it very seriously and also like it's quite experimental like you're not trying to create a specific thing so this was Alfie's first attempt, oops, <laughs> which didn't go so well. This was mine, my little pot that I made. <laughs> then Alfie's other pot was like a tiny heart pinch pot. And then this was my egg cup, but now it's looking like a bowl, Alfie. You've totally changed the shape. <laughs> but you control the speed here. And you know what? It's actually really fun. <laughs> what I might do on this to counteract our lack of ability is go like this at the end. Or maybe not, I might do it when it's a little bit more dry. Oh, the heart? No, just wobble it a bit on purpose like that. What do you think? Yeah, lovely. I don't know what you'd put in it, but maybe let go and then let it... Yeah, because you don't want it that tight, because you wouldn't be able to put anything in it. Lovely! Now we've just got to try and get it off. It looks a bit like a beak. I quite like that. Lovely. I think if we smooth out the bottom, like this, I think that's actually quite sick. Look. Aww, that's cute. 
You probably could use that as an egg cup. I mean, what egg's gonna go? A quail's egg. <laughs> no, but like the bottom of it might sit in that bit. I think mean, that's cool. Yeah. It looks like a little bit of coral. It is the most glorious evening. Just been sat outside finishing up Olive, which is our Zoella Book Club book for August. Um, and obviously now that we are into September, the review of that has just gone up. And the September book, for any of you that join along, is Queenie. So that's what I'm moving on to next. I have done something to my back. I sound like a 90 year old. <laughs> but I've done something to it and it feels so tight on one side. Like that when I pull it round. I need to be doing all the stretches. So I'm super excited to chat to you in this um, section of the video about a company that I have partnered with and they are called A Good Company. Alfie and I are both working with them, which is really exciting. And it's been so great getting to know them as a company and try out their products. So A Good Company are a climate positive, carbon negative company. Hello. <laughs> She's joining in. Alfie and I have had lots of their products in our house over the last couple of months, and they just do such great like everyday items that you wouldn't even realize you could change up to actually make a bigger Good. impact yeah so they do your everyday items from things like notebooks pens toilet paper floss clay we've paint we've literally got bamboo toilet paper at the moment also things just like i suppose it's just everyday objects like notepads mm -hmm. but the notepads they have made from rock so yeah, they're not stone. Free. It's basically switching out alternatives whenever you can in your life, if you're able to, to equivalent products that are positive, like not neutral, positive for the environment. And it's not saying get rid of every bit of plastic in your life because that's incredibly difficult and that'd be amazing to be able to do one day. But it's about making small changes where you can, isn't it? And I didn't even realise the amount that I could make without seeing this like even so this notepads, is a really good example notepads. pens for me the amount of pens we have lying around in drawers that are just all plastic something so simple that we all purchase and repurchase this one is well, made designed to be a throwaway product yeah the cheap pens that you buy are designed to just be thrown away after you use them they're not reusable so this pen is made out of meadow like grass isn't that cool? Natural Literally grass. made out of grass. It took them six months to design. Yeah. And it's made out of meadow grass and recycled BPA free plastic. Yeah. So it's like, and also you can refill it as well. And you can refill them. So you don't them. have to just throw it away. But also, it's, just, just it's a things. nice pen. <laughs> I'm going to leave their website below. It's agood.com. And also go on over and check out their Instagram. Um, see what you think of the product. See if there's anything that you would order or replace. Um, with anything that you're running out of that you currently buy. If you see the owner Anderson is on the Instagram, go show him some love. He is the nicest guy. He's so guy. lovely. He owns the company and we've been on so many like Zoom calls and everything with him. I also and think that they should go over to the website and like... the loveliest. Read up on the story behind the company, read up on Anders and what he's all about and also because they're such a transparent company, they literally give all the information behind every product it's so eye-opening and educational at the same time if which you're i've really in enjoyed thing, yeah if that's if definitely. that's a bit of you go and check it out because just... it's great also the clay that alfie and i just used for our pots that was from a good company they have lots of really lovely creative bits on there just as a little example this is one of their phone cases and this is made out of linseed plant waste which is grown by local farmers in sweden so 100% compostable but also they have a really cool system where if you decide you want to change up your phone case you can send this back before you get a new one so that this one can be recycled and made into another phone case for someone else just little things like that that I just think are so cool they also plant a tree every time a phone case is sold we've technically planted a tree here then okay, and you two trees I like that as Alfie said earlier, this notebook is made out of stone, so the paper is not 
tree. I have to be careful here because I've got a lot of um, like book notes in here. You know what that means? Cause it's 100% it's like, waterproof. You can literally pour water on yeah. it the ink doesn't run. Also, I've never written on anything like this in my life, but it is the softest, most satisfying writing experience to write on stone paper. Um, it does also mean, as Alfie said, you could pour an entire thing of water on here and it just rolls off, which is so cool. Are you actually going to do it? No, you don't have to. Go on then. I just don't want to get it on you. Right, can you see this? Just tip it off. Just rolls off. You could probably see all of my like private to-do list there as well. As I said, go on over and check out the website. Such an amazing company. I love what they're doing and I feel like so many of you will too. I just wanted to show everybody what our dog does when we go to, when we go to feed her. I put this She's on, already doing it. I put this on my story this morning. I was like, does anyone else's dog? But like, she spins so much sometimes that I'm like, you're going to actually look at her. She just <laughs> sends it, but I don't know why. She does more in the morning. Look. But it's not like if she spins, we then ever give, we've never taught her to spin. Wait, good girl. It's so boring. One of our friends taught her to spin for a treat, what? When she Four was years ago, five years ago. I think it's excitement. Yeah. Like if you have a dog that does that, please let me know why you think they do it. Because we've never taught her to spin for food. I think they just can't control it. Like she's just it's so exciting. excited she doesn't know what to do with herself. But genuinely sometimes in the morning she does it more. Maybe I should film her tomorrow morning. She spins so fast over and over and over that I literally have to hold her in case she like gets dizzy and like falls or something. Or like her <laughs> brain like spills out of her head. <laughs> Do that. That's not normal. I am currently cooking dinner, still doing our gusto, and with tonight we're having red pepper risotto. It says with herb rolled goat's cheese, but I'm not a fan of goat's cheese, so that's staying out of the dish. I have to say, one thing that I have learnt how to cook in lockdown that I never cooked before is risotto. I always thought it was one of those meals that was really difficult to cook, so I just never attempted it. A meal I love to eat though, it's delicious. Um, and we've cooked so many in lockdown. I feel like it's been like our lockdown dinner of choice, basically. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been nice learning how to cook from scratch a bit more. One thing I've also learned is my tummy <laughs> does not like too much garlic. <laughs> I just, too much garlic and then it completely ruins the meal for me. I like a little bit, but I will never understand those people that can have like tons and tons of garlic in every meal they eat. <laughs> Risotto is done. It doesn't look as fancy as the Gusto card because we haven't put the rolled goat's cheese on top. But, oh, this just looks so good. And tomatoes and red peppers are my favorite combo. I also threw caution to the wind and threw some cheddar in as well. So, there we go. Here you are. Oh, thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, that's a big portion. Yeah. I don't know what I've done to my shoulder, but earlier on when I said it was really like sore, I must have pulled it or something because even eating my dinner, like bringing my fork up to my mouth, I was like, ow. So I thought I have a bath, soak it in some warm water and see if that helps. 
I'm going to use the IRL bath bomb. So even though Digital Detox Day has been and gone, the IRL bath bomb in Lush is still available. So if you missed out or you thought it was only going to be for the week of Digital Detox Day, it's actually just until they are all fully gone. So if you've not yet gone out and grabbed one, it's so cool seeing so many of you sharing your bath bombs on stories and tagging me in them. What is going on with my hair? Um, so thanks for doing that, I love it. Oh. What have I done here? Did anybody else ever buy those like hair scrunchies that had like the hair that would just like stick out like this? That's what it looks like I'm wearing. Also, I've got food on my teeth. Ah, uh, oh well. <laughs> I'm gonna put this bath bomb in, I'm gonna get in the bath, and I'm gonna chill. Hello, happy Friday. Uh, myself and Mark have met up. Our, la met up. <laughs> We've met Our up. last trip to HomeSense wasn't as successful but we've heard great things about the Brighton home sense. Therefore, we've come to this one. Mm -hmm. And we've just had a whole car journey of like deep. Really deep. <laughs> really deep, meaningful chats. Um, so we are, we are feeling good now. Maybe we should talk about it on camera one day. Yeah, maybe one day. One day. I feel like we didn't we didn't laugh once, which is really weird. So oh we're gonna God. have to be really fucking to, like, weird now. Yeah. <laughs> but no, sometimes, like I said, we don't want always people to think that we um just buzzing our tits off twenty four seven. Yeah, we sometimes our, we're not. We need a <laughs> we need a D and M, deep and meaningful. Deep and meaningful. It's nice. To, it's very hot in here, isn't it? Oh, all yeah. of a sudden. Oh, I just looked at myself and was like, oh, she looks sweaty in there. Isn't that <laughs> viewfinder. Um, so yeah, that's what that's that's what we just had a big old chat, big old. Debrief, yeah, like a week debrief. Getting it off our shoulders, mm, life, tips. the internet, just so many things. Just so many things that we want to change. <laughs> <laughs> we just miss the old days. We really do. Um, but we know that we have a lovely, supportive community of people that are just the best. So Genuinely. we're very grateful for that. So grateful. That's what we kept coming back to. Wasn't yeah. It? Very grateful. Times are changing, but we're all growing up together, and we love you. Oh, oh no, don't. Oh, no. <laughs> can't, be, can't be crying in both your vlogs. I'm actually so excited. Gonna get bubble tea, dum-dums, salads, everything. Salads? <laughs> Is that because you said bubble tea and dum-dums and thought, that sounds unhealthy, yeah, I'm gonna throw a salad in. <laughs> I need to cancel it out. <laughs> Me and Mark were like, what should we have for lunch? Oh, I love it, you got a spray. Don't smell your hands, it stinks. Does it? Of yeah. what? Like, f dirty feet. Oh no! <laughs> it's like PVA glue. Not for me. I actually don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. Um, so we decided to go for a smash burger. Oh, they didn't play around with the sauces. Oh, lovely. No? They are incredible. Yeah. They're hot. <laughs> Mark and I went into HomeSense. Still nothing. Literally, there's someone we follow whose video I watched, and I was like, Zoe, we should have gone there. It's absolutely filled to the brim with Halloween stuff. Walked in, there's nothing there. Oh, no. Maybe they're going to get a delivery. Mm. We were like, where should we go and eat our burgers? In the car. <laughs> we're like, beach? No, seagulls. Me and Mark are out on a walk. And yesterday, a couple of sheep had somehow got into this field from the field they were supposed to be in. We just passed somebody out walking their dog and he said, how quick are you on your feet? We, me and Mark were like, what? <laughs> Another sheep has, has got in and now it's just one. So he's on his own in this field and he's at the gate trying to get back through. So I think me and Mark might try and see if he'll, if we can get him back in. You know what's funny? But Mark's terrified. I don't actually think you're joking now. No, I'm not joking. <laughs> Did you think I was joking? Yeah, but we're not a farmer. We don't know what to do. Do we? <laughs> you just have to try and guide him through. That's what sheep dogs do. Okay. Look how sad he is. All his friends are in the other field. Okay. 
okay. No, I, do, I don't want him to be sad, but I don't want to be rammed up the arse. He, they don't come near you. Don't they? Nah, they run away from you. What's that... the difference between a sheep and a ram? Look, he's walking towards us. <laughs> it's all right. Come on. Little Shawnee. He's Shawnee all right. Shawnee. Oh, it's bleating. Come on. The only thing is I don't want Nala to scare it. So why is the man, why was the man running? Because he was trying to get the sheep in. Okay. He tried, he said he tried and he couldn't do it. Right, you hold this. Sorry, you're a braver man than I. Oh, now I've eaten poo. Hello, sheepy. Can we get far? Thank you, babe. Come on, babe. Right, I don't know how I feel about this. Come on. Don't come near me. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not used to this, you know. <laughs> you hold her. See if you can try and stop her feet in the pool. Nula, no poola. Okay, this is not how I thought I'd spend my Friday. Nala, don't eat the poo. No 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 no. No such luck. We couldn't do it. There were two people walking through the field that tried to help for a while and we still couldn't do it and now look, it's run this way. It can't go through this, oh look at that lovely view. It can't go through this gate. You've got to go back the other way. Oh, I just feel sorry for it. It's not with all its pals. That's it, you head back the other way. <laughs> 